I've been tagged. I got a fun tag video for you today. This is the this or that book tag or bookish edition of this or that, whatever you want to call it. It's a book tag. I was tagged by Chaz over at Bookish Chaz. Check out his channel if you don't already. He's got great stuff over there. I always enjoy watching his videos. There are 11 prompts here and it's just simply choices, this or that. And there's a lot of fun ones and it's a way to just kind of talk about some reading habits and some things that you like, some things that you don't like. So First prompt is paperback or hardback. And despite what you see beside me, which is primarily hardback, that's kind of a tougher question because there's a couple kinds of paperbacks, only one kind of hardback, unless you think of those shorter hardbacks. But from reading itself, the physical act of reading, I would say paperback is probably better. And I would break that down to trade paperback is probably the best physical reading experience, followed by mass market, followed by hardback. But you can see I'm a book collector. So when it comes to collecting, hardback is always going to win for me over paperback. Unless I already have a book that's in a paperback. For instance, earlier this year, I bought the Empire Trilogy by Janie Wirtz and Raymond E. Feist. And that ties into Feist's previous works, the Rift War Saga and some other series, which I already have in mass market paperback. So I already bought those in mass market paperback just so that series will match. But if I'm starting brand new, most of the time my choice paperback or hardback, because of the collection, I'm gonna choose hardback. All right, prompt number two, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Now, it's an easy answer, it's Lord of the Rings. And I'm not a Harry Potter hater by any stretch of the imagination. I did enjoy Harry Potter. It has its flaws, but it's still a top 20 series. I've read it twice. I do enjoy it, but it's really hard to compare those two. Lord of the Rings by a mile. Prompt three, physical books or eBooks? Physical books all the way. I realized this about three years ago. About three years ago, I DNF'd four books and they were all eBooks. And I began to wonder if I don't always connect with a book when I'm reading an electronic screen. As much as I love my Kindle, I always take it with me when I travel and I do read, I don't know, maybe 10% of my books on Kindle. I just find that I connect with the text a lot better when it's in print. So physical books all the way for me. Number four, book buying or borrowing? Well. You can see, book buying all the way. I love libraries. I love to be able to borrow books, but most of the time, even if I lend a book, I don't consider it lending a book. I just give a book. So I don't really do book borrowing from either, either side of the borrowing. Number five, read in bed or read in a chair. I'm a runner. I have horrible hamstrings. Reading in bed is like the most uncomfortable thing ever. So I always read in a chair, usually a recliner. Number six, book club or read alone. So most of the time I read alone. On a lot of the discords, there are read-alongs and things like that. So it's kind of like a virtual book club and I do enjoy that. I was in a really great book club when I lived in Dallas and we met every month. But when you read about eight books per month, that's still a very small percentage of what you read. So when you read alone as well, you pretty much can choose everything that you're going to read. So read alone is, is always the answer to that one for me. Library or bookstore? Bookstore all the way, because again, the collection, but I love libraries. Libraries are the best. I use the digital portion of my library quite frequently, but I do want to go see it. They just renovated my local library and it looks gorgeous. I've drove past it a few times and I need to go visit there, but uh, I'm a collector, so I like to own most of the books that I've read. Number eight, nonfiction or fiction? I love both, but fiction all the way. I would say 95% of the books that I read last year are probably fiction. I read for pleasure. I read to escape. I read to hear great stories. And it's not that nonfiction doesn't do that for me, but it's just not quite the same. So fiction all the way for me. Number nine, print or audio? Print all the way. I do occasionally do an audiobook. I did finish one in December. 
I have probably finished four or five last year, but not that many. I'm a musician, so when I listen to things, I don't listen to audiobooks, I listen to music. So it's pretty rare that I listen to an audiobook unless I know that I have a long drive because that really helps. Last month I had a drive from Chicago to Austin about 16 hours. So audiobook was perfect for that because it really helped the time pass. But in my day-to-day -day life, I don't do much audiobook listening, so print all the way. Number 10, new books or old books? I would say both. However, when I buy old books, it has to be either, at a very minimum, very good condition. I can't buy good condition. I can't buy acceptable condition. I, I just don't like beat up books like that. So it, when I am buying used books, whether it's on eBay or a book, something like that, I'm always careful with the sellers just to make sure that I am, if I'm buying a used copy, that I'm getting a very good condition copy. So I do like to buy used books because it does save a lot of money. And when you read over 100 books a year like I do, you know, that adds up. So I do try to use, utilize used books as much as I can. 11, short chapters or long chapters? This really depends on the kind of storytelling. For instance, let me talk about two of my favorite authors, Robin Hobb and Joe Abercrombie. Hobb has long chapters, Abercrombie has short chapters. Hobb with short chapters, it wouldn't work. Abercrombie with long chapters, it wouldn't work. The style of storytelling and the writing style pays, plays so much into this answer. So I can't say I prefer either. If I had to choose, I would say long, but that's with a question mark. Because again, when I'm reading a Joe Abercrombie story and he has short chapters, it works perfectly. So I'd say it all depends on who the author is, what kind of story they're unfolding, how they're telling the story. So it depends. Oh, I almost forgot I have to tag people. I always do that when I do these tag videos. I forget to write down, tag somebody at the end. So uh, let me tag just my fellow, um, my fellow leaders of the read-along on the Keymark Discord that we're doing. We're doing a great read-along from January 6th to February 6th to promote SFF books and to promote just the greater book community. It's been a lot of fun. Go Team Red Furies. We're doing great so far. So let me tag my other three cohorts, uh, Andrew, Madison, and Fina. Where I'll put your information down in the comment section below, or sorry, the description below. If you don't already subscribe to them, please do so. But maybe they'll do this, this, or that tag as well. But hey, quick video today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Twitter, Goodreads, Keymark, Grimoire Discords. I'm in both of those quite a bit. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.